So, yes, what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> I've had a number of requests to do a video on money, uh, probably because I did a program called Money Beyond Belief with Dr. Joe Vitale from The Secret. And some people might be thinking, gee, Brad, your message tends to be a little more spiritual. Isn't uh, this kind of materialistic? Well, I'm not going to go into all of that right now. I'll answer some of that in the info box over there. But here's the thing. Just like any of the issues that block us, a lack of money isn't really the problem. You know, it's a symptom of the problem, which to me is we've forgotten who we are, that we are connected to infinite source. And when you're feeling that connection, you know, you have plenty of abundance, more than enough money for what you want and need, and you know it's okay, because it's there. So, there's a lot of uh, ideas about money, and one of them is that you have to have money to make money. Now, from Law of Attraction, we would say, well, you have to feel that you have money to make money. So it does make sense that if you have money, it's easier to feel that you have money. But I don't think it's necessary. We can get that feeling right now. So, uh, again, if you choose to tap along, you must take full responsibility for your own well-being, just in case some stuff comes up, which it might. Side of the hand. I am rich, and I choose to love and accept myself. I am rich, and I choose to love and forgive myself. I am rich. I choose to know. I choose to feel that I am connected to infinite source. There is abundance all around. It's here for me, too. I was born rich. I am rich. And I choose to deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself. And any of the people in my life who caused me to doubt my wealth, I am rich. I am rich. I am very wealthy. I am connected to infinite source. There is abundance all around me. I choose to see it. I choose to feel confident about it. I choose to know that it's there for me. Clearing the reasons why I shouldn't allow abundance. Clearing the reasons why I shouldn't say that I'm rich. Why I shouldn't feel rich. Maybe I look at my bank account and figure that's the limit. But there is infinite abundance. Just like if someone said to me, there's a vast blue sky above me. Would I look up at the ceiling and say, no, that's the limit. That's as far as it goes because that's as far as I can see. I'm not going to argue that. I may have to take a few steps to go where I can see the vast blue sky. But I know it's up there. Looking at my bank statement and saying that that's the limit would be the same as saying the ceiling was the limit. And I'm letting go of any need to do that. I am rich. I have money beyond belief. I am very wealthy. And that's okay. The abundance is all around. It must be here for me. 
God must want us to have it. That's why he created it. I can be rich and do really good things with my money. I can allow myself to enjoy so much of what this world has to offer. And I can help others do the same. All this fear that if I say that I'm rich, I'll spend foolishly. I don't need to do that. Rich people spend wisely. I am a good steward of my money. I take care of my money. I use it wisely. I spend it wisely. And as I let myself know that, I give myself permission to have a whole lot more. Acknowledging that I am rich in body, mind, and spirit. And take a deep breath. And let it go. Thank you.